Hi guys, Retro Django here. Listen to the beautiful sound of a disk drive here. Formatting a. There we go. All done. All right, let's just make a quick video. On one of my giveaway videos, I gave away this Amiga game, Universe. And the winner wrote an email to me and he said that he has uh, recently got himself an Amiga 500 with a broken disk drive and he does not have any disks and uh, he wrote to me that it's just great so now he has some disks that he can test the, the, the Amiga 500's disk drive with and I was like oh my god universe <laughs> I mean, such an awesome box here and original discs. Uh, I I don't think he should use it as a uh, you know test disc. So the winner does not know about it, but I, I, I wanna I want I just wanna make a copy. I just wanna make a copy of a game uh, so so he can use that disc uh, on his drive. You know, just a little present he's gonna get. But while doing that, why not just make a video? So, here we have just a normal Amiga 500, Amiga 500 Plus, I'm so sorry. The Plus version has a built-in battery, as you can see here, that I have unsoldered. The all destroying water battery on this Amiga 500 Plus. I just installed this um, scan doubler, so I can use my screen here, uh, monitor here. And I have a uh, normal external disk drive. I unplugged the ribbon cable and power cable from the disk drive here, put in a GoCheck drive. So simple as that. So we have a GoCheck here, and uh, with the GoCheck drive, I just loaded the uh, what's it called D copy that I used a lot back then. So let's just find the game Dino Blaster. All right. So now Dino Blaster is inserted. How did I get Dino Blaster? I just searched for uh, Amiga ADF files, ADF games, googled it. I'm not gonna show you how, but it's, I mean, just just search for Amiga ADF games and uh, it will pop up. And you can download it and put it in the uh, USB stick and in the go to drive. So, the Amiga thinks that we got Dino Blaster here. So let's check out this program. The source drive will be DF0 and the destination will be DF1. And DF1 is right over here, guys. My external disk drive. That's about it. And I'm gonna choose, there we go, and I'm gonna say go. And that's it. Now it is reading from my GoCheck drive, the normal ADF files. And if you can hear over here. Yeah, these drives needs cleaning and all that, but uh, yeah. Nice. And it's copying. <laughs> Guys, so easy is that. So the winner here is gonna get a little uh, extra disc with Dino Blaster on so he can chest his drive, clean the head and all that. And when the drive works perfect, then I would recommend him to use these original discs from this game. <laughs> Alright guys, I just wanna say thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. I have a lot of uh, interest in all retro Amigas, Commodore 64, DOS gaming and all that. I just love everything retro. And if you're an old subscriber, thanks for watching this video, guys. <laughs> Until next time, copy some games. <laughs> have a nice day. Bye. Oh, just kidding. Of course, we have to test the disc, guys. Of course, of course, of course. So let's see what's going to happen here. I just plugged in the, <clears throat> what's it called, the normal disc drive now. Oh, they click. <laughs> nice. So let's test this uh, Dino Blaster disc that we just made. Yep. 
yay this works that's nice <laughs> i mean it's just so easy making uh, all the disc all the games you can uh, you want to make because it's free to download and these drives they just they're just so cheap um i mean search on ebay they cost nothing there we go now he the winner has got a his name is carsten here you go carsten if you watch this uh, video <laughs> Now he's gonna get a test disc and he can play Dino Blaster 2. So easy as that, guys. Until next time, play some Dino Blaster. Bye.